Welcome Virgos. This is your 2021. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares and support. So Virgos, 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 what we have here, what is happening, what is transpiring. So first off there, you're dealing with a lot of major arcana, a lot of secrets are coming out, information is coming out. Um, and uh, um, this is going to be good. You have strength, you have the Empress, you have the Eye Princess. Um, the Hermit, you Virgos are showing up uh, things that was happening in a corporation institution. So you Virgos are standing very strong. A lot of com conflicts and competition, but your wishes and dream is going to be coming in in the month of February because you're showing up things and this is going to be good. So in the first six months, your best month is going to be February and uh, um, May. February and May is going to be your best month. So this is wonderful and transparent. Um, as we look at the uh, second half of the year, you're dealing with a Libran person. I see whoever this Libran person is. I see a lot of issues with showing up the truth about some money um, that was transpiring. I see the eight of ones, a whole lot of fastness. Um, you're having to deal with uh, um, the queen. Um, whoever this person is, is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. They're finding out who this person is and what has transpired. The Eight of Wands, a whole lot of fastness, a whole lot of information is coming in about a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion woman. And um, then we have uh, the Seven of Wands, where you Virgos are going to be standing your ground with a situation that is happening and transpiring. So the first half of the year is going to be very, very good. But as we move to the second half, that is where a lot of situation where you're standing your ground um, in order to balance out uh, some sort of a situation that was going on. So let's look at the month of January. The month of January is about complication. It's about conflicts and complications that is going to be transpiring. Um, so I see you Virgos are standing up in the month of January, showing up uh, situation issues, things that was going on that people were not aware of. Uh, you Virgos are standing in your powers in the month of January. So you come in in the month of January, really, really standing your powers. You chaos, a whole lot of chaos, uh, chaos, documentation, chaos, uh, chaos that is happening around you. Okay, so take a seat, close your eyes, Virgo, in January and take a deep breath. If the things you have been doing all seems to be frazzled out or um, backfired, it's not because you have done anything wrong. You are just being redirecting to take on um, ob observation, approaching whatever situation is going to be coming in for you. Okay. Now you need to open your eyes in January. See what is playing on around you and take time to digest the information. You see and notice uh, what you are drawn to, to repel and the insight of gathering a lot of information for yourself in the month of January. So this is a clear cut, uh, clear, very clear cut uh, situation in January that you're going to be um, guiding yourself in towards, okay? February is going to be your lucky, lucky month in business, uh, whatever is happening in February, this is going to be an extremely lucky month. February is coming in where your wishes and dream is going to be granted. Um, the matured wisdom, the nine of cups, the nine of water, having, um, um, you know, the impulsive of the power of your own emotional and a lot of happiness and joy is coming up uh, in the month of February. So, um, if you're looking for a job, you might be getting some sort of a push up the, the ladder at your work. Uh, um, you know, you're being open and understanding. You're feeling good in yourself. You have emotional balance. You are going to be very, very happy in February, especially if we were looking for a job for a very long time and it did not come in. So this is wonderful. Wow, beautiful. As we move to March, March is the energy of the eye princess and this is good. Um, and you're going to be, um, some of you Virgos could be traveling, um, and masterful between the world being safety and resolving issues and situation, um, you know, realizing the secrets that people were keeping, um, 
you know, and working through a situation in order to help uh, resolve some sort of an issue and problems and a secret uh, situation that was being kept uh, and how people were working uh, with um their with you know having their own sort of agenda and you're going to be finding this out and showing this up in the month of march so this is um very very good and very very powerful because whatever that was being kept or whatever situation that was being kept and was kept away from you virgos in march you're going to be showing that up and you're going to be standing your ground so that whatever the issue and the situation is it's being balanced and this is going to be good okay as we look at the second quarter the second quarter you begin having this to deal with strength it is april so a lot of people in april you're trying to find inner strength to deal with issues and situation and you're going to be looking for true strength that can, um, you know, you will know true strength and feel this within you in order to um, work against the massive. OK, so um, this is a situation where you are approaching things in a very powerful way. OK, you are standing your ground because, you know, you have uh, the knowledge and the power to resolve these undesirable um, situation that was transpiring around um, on the work floor or in your business. And you're going to be standing your ground and showing up and letting people know, I, you know, I can run a company, but I'm aware of what uh, um, to be expected. And I see whatever is transpiring in April, you're going to be standing your ground and making sure that people do the right thing. <coughs> <coughs> And create the right examples okay so another lucky month is May this is good okay because in May I see a lot of abundance the growth of abundance okay so your heart pours out pours forth the water um, to heal and create abundance and that grows around you okay so a lot of you could be um in may is uh, you know you could have begun um your business in february and in may um you're seeing your business flourishing and uh, success is coming towards your business and this is going to be absolutely absolutely powerful and i see truths uh, um it's going to be coming forward uh, where you're going to be realizing yes i have made the right decision so um this energy it, it, it is an energy of uh feminine but yet masculine energy and you virgos are using this feminine and masculine energy in order to balance your out issues situation and problems and recognizing where is the problems uh, and resolving these problems as you move along and this is going to be good so me and uh, February is going to be an extremely, extremely good month. Um, March also, but March is as if you're showing up uh, some sort of a secrecy or some sort of a, a secret exhibition that was going on around you on the work floor or in your business. OK, now when we get to June, June is the energy of the hermit. And this is per, um, purposefully sol solitude, lighting the part towards uh, um collective growth and this is where you start to reorganize here okay so you start to reorganize so take time to be alone in thoughts and with your thoughts great thinkers create great um uh, wealth for themselves okay this is a more june is going to be a more time for you to retreat and you know go out in nature if even you're at work and you can go and take walks this is going to clear your head because you're not supposed to be behind your computer um all the time you need to take like breaks okay you need to move your eyes from the screen of your computer and take breaks okay so some people don't take breaks but it's not good if even you walk go to the bathroom um you know walk outside for five minutes come back but um you need to take the sort of a break a lot of you virgos are going to be shedding light shedding light to, to some sort of a secrecy that was kept in a corporation institution get into the bottom and realize you know, that the process and uh, um, the skills and knowledge of people in a corporation institution was not up to date. And this is why um, some sort of a pro process was not uh, um, run um, um, in run properly is because uh, management was not uh, management did not have the skill and knowledge in order 
um, to create these process in order for them to run properly. Okay, so first our fear is going to be extremely, extremely very good. Whatever is happening in transpiring, the first of fear is going to be is as if uh, um, you are really reorganizing here, but you're taking back uh, and using your information and your skill and knowledge in a really really positive positive way okay so this is going to be extremely extremely good so we have and we're moving forward to the second half of the year the second half of the year we're first going to be looking at the first three months uh, july august and september so we have july august and september in july you're dealing with a water energy okay water of water Water of Water is uh, an emotional person. This is a Pisces Cancer Scorpion. And they're finding out something about the Pisces Cancer Scorpion man. Um, and it could be a situation where this person have not um, done their work. Of, um, you know, this person have a lot of emotion. He works from, an, from out of heart space and a lot of emotional situation. And you Virgos are like, you know, I'm here to do my work and you Virgos are going to be finding out a whole lot of information about this uh, Pisces Cancer Scorpion man. This man is 50 years and older and you're going to be really, really finding out uh, what this person have done and how this person have created a, a whole lot of issues uh, and was not aware of uh, the position that he holds. Okay, so you are going to be dealing with a boss or a supervisor who is a Pisces Cancer, a Scorpion man, 50 years and older, and the secrets of this man, and a light is going to be shedding about this man, and who this man is, and how this man have kept secrets, uh, and kept an organization running, and a whole lot of secrets is going to be coming out about this man, and what this man, who this man is, and how he has acclaimed so much wealth uh, on the false pretend. Then we're looking at the month of August, and the month of August is where your passion come in. Um, the month of August is a fire energy. The fire energy is coming up in you. You have uh, um, in the month of August uh, um, the longing of the fire, and this is the energy where you're going to be eating your stride and um, beginning to settle down into a peaceful um alignment of energy so you know if you start a new job and that sort of a thing you're going to be realizing a whole lot of problems on the workflow a whole lot of situation a whole lot of issue but as you get to august you are now settling down okay um the sprint is now over so some of you could be um doing a sprint and if you know what a sprint is it's for creative people who um do a sprint in order to find out um snell creative idea okay so that is a sort of a sprint so the sprint is now over and uh, um the and, and the the sprint or the marathon is now over so some of you could have been um you know in a um rush to get off some sort of a project a whole lot of business it's going to be very busy in august okay um so whether it's your job your business it's going to be very very busy in august so as we move to September, September, you're, you have overcome this business in August, and this is going to be good. And you are really in, in ingeniously and passionate with your work. You're very powerfully showing and accessing your goals and creating wonderful goals for yourself. And this is going to be um, very positive. The universe is going to be coming in and appearing to some of you and removing a lot of obstacles, okay? So the universe may present itself with more obstacles than you would like, to, but yet still you have the um, skills and knowledge in order to resolve this um, situation that is transpiring. So um, September is going to be a very energetic month, but it is going to be a, a month that you're going to be growing and using your inner wisdom and guidance, your skills and experience is going to be helping you out. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely powerful. All right. So the third quarter is also looking good. Whatever is happening and transpiring, um, the third quarter is really going to be looking good. I see a lot of you are going to be standing your ground against a Pisces Cancer Scorpion man and said, show me the documents. I need to see the documents. I need 
need to um you know get a good look at these documents i see you're going to be um making this man's world a little bit harder for him because you realize and you have always known that something about this man and his company or his department was not on top or this um colleague or, and you're going to be saying i need to have the documents you're going to be putting this man um through a lot of ringers in order to balance and create it some sort of a um, um clearly uh, balancing out some situation as we go to the three last months um you go we're looking at um october November and December. In October, it is the initial initial of wisdom because some sort of information is going to be coming in about this man, and you're going to be finding out that this man has um um create some sort of a secrecy and have uh, how whatever he has accomplished in his life is like um a some sort of a secret way, okay. So it's a contemporary way that this man has created his wealth. Discussion, opinions, so the timeline has come to make a decision. So a lot of you Virgos is going to be making a decision about a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man in the month of October. Whether or not this man is going to be having the opportunity to move forward in this business, move forward in the company or move forward in his position. Okay. So while it may seem as if... Uh, there are many um, outcomes and direction on the table. Truly, there is only two remaining, okay? And uh, um, the two that is remaining on the table is pass or move forward, okay, um, with the future. And this is what I just said, is that a decision is going to be made whether or not this man, um, you know, stay in his position, stay where he is or you're going to be ending his contract so that is going to be a decision that in order to find out what you're going to be doing um you have to follow the reading to the other side when we're going to be looking at the extended once you have reached clarity about this man make your views and your boundaries known so whatever and whoever this person is whether it's your boss whether it's a supervisor whether it's a manager whether it's your business partner, you're going to be finding out and seeing clarity about this person in the month of uh, um, October. And you're going to be making some sort of a decision in um, um, as you leave October. So in December, in November, um, collaboration. In November, some sort of a collaboration is going to be uh, coming up. So a lot of you who are looking for jobs, collaboration, okay? Um, so multiple um voices may have uh, you feel um they are too many cooks in the kitchen and this is really sometimes what you have at the workplace and you're listening to all these people that think that they know what is best so in the month of uh, um, november and i'm so glad because this is a business card in the month of november what is going to be transpiring is that uh, you're going to be realizing that too many people have too many idea and too many cooks in the kitchen um, of your own mind or causing confusion and um, potential distress, okay? So I see too many people is there trying to um, remise on too many people. Whether these are voices coming from other people or from inside of you, you have the powers to slow down the chatter and enforce healthier rules of debate, okay? So that is, that is really, um, November is going to be really powerful. So, um, come and follow us to the other side to know. And instead, focus on allowing space for, um, a divination of your opinion to exist. Okay. Favors, including over complication to ease the stress. So November is going to be a stressful period because there's a, and there is um, a lot of meetings and people have their own ideas and all of this. And you need to step back from this and take a good look and a layout of the land. OK, so be aware of what is going to be coming up in November. All right, because sometimes um, you can see this where too much people um, have their opinion about something and and and. and, and and you're sitting there in the meetings, too much cookies in a um, kitchen. And some of you are going to be thinking, hey, hey, hey. Um, and you're going to be thinking and making your own decision. 
now as we get to december december is a hurt month so this is going to be good for you virgo so you have the energy of hurt and it is chaos a whole lot of chaos okay so december could be the month that you're letting go a lot of people okay a fear of luck of uh, clouding your assessment uh, of your situation okay while there may be some truth in your perception focus on it only making it uh, larger or um omitless so so what you're going to be doing is that uh, start by beginning to smooth out the fares where are your fares are you fearing that your contract or fearing that you have to let go a lot of people um and choose your logic brain and that is going to be um helping you to bring you to um whatever plot okay um that was there you can dissolve this plot, okay? Because a lot of people, and these are, um, you know, people are, not everyone is balanced. They will create whatever plot. But whatever plot there is, and whatever plot that people have created, you're going to be standing your ground and going to be resolving this, okay? So this is going to be good. So I see um, heartbreaks for a Sagittarian is going to be coming up. A lot of you are going to be letting go of a Sagittarian, or it breaks for a Sagittarian and people are finding out that what a Libran has done hardship for a Libran um, and I see um, the Leos are in a very hard place they're now placed in a very hard place um, heartbreaks for the Leo and they're being placed in a very hard place I see the Libran as uh, given a lot of information and shed light on a lot of situation of what a Leo and a Sagittarian have done and I see these people are now stuck in some sort of a hard place so a lot of you um in the half year is going to be having some sort of an issue with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion man because people are finding out who this person is that this person worked with a Sagittarian and a Leo and they're finding out the truth and I see heartbreaks for the Sagittarian because they're all throwing the Sagittarian under the bus and I see a Leo is really in a really horrible position because they're finding out what this person has done. Wow. So Virgos, 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 I am really, really wishing you Virgos a wonderful um, year. It is a powerful year. You have this Virgos. You have this Virgos. Go for it because you are going to be ending this year, standing your ground against a Sagittarian a Leo, a Libran, and uh, uh, you're going to be showing up these people for what they have done. So the first half of the year is going to be smooth, but the second half is going to be rough, but you have this under control. I do love you, Virgos. I gotta go. I hope to see you on the other side. If not, namaste. Please thumbs up, thumbs up this video so that they can reach a lot of people. Namaste.